The bill is passed without objection. A motion to reconsider this is laid on the table. A nearly $900 billion annual defense bill passed the House last week by a razor-thin partisan margin, with four Democrats voting for and four Republicans voting against. The bill has been historically bipartisan, but several Republican amendments left most Democrats voting against it. Amendments included gutting Pentagon diversity initiatives, adding language to limit transgender health care for service members, and repealing travel reimbursements for abortion care that began after the repeal of Roe v. Wade. The majority of Americans, including the majority of Republicans, think service members should be able to get health care, um, think that they should be able to travel if they need to get health care, and understand that joining the military doesn't mean you should have less rights than if you're a civilian. Democrat Sarah Jacobs of San Diego sits on the House Armed Services Committee and says politically motivated amendments upended bipartisan committee negotiations and jeopardize initiatives that would help local service members, such as a child care center expansion at Naval Base Point Loma. I worked to create a bipartisan coalition to address quality of life issues for families in San Diego because I knew it was important to make sure that we had support from both sides of the aisle to be able to get them done. Jacobs joined fellow San Diego Democrats Scott Peters, Juan Vargas, and Mike Levin in voting against the bill. San Diego Republican Daryl Issa voted in favor. The Senate version of the spending bill is expected to pass the democratically controlled Senate this week without those Republican amendments. It will then be up to leaders in both chambers to reconcile the bill with negotiations expected to stretch into the fall. Andrew Dyer, KPBS News.